nice to see you again. So today we're learning about a very famous scientist called Albert Einstein. So, so let's find out Albert Einstein together. So, so look, Albert Einstein, let me teach you more about him. He was born in 14 March 1879 in Germany. Cool, right? And he, and he had one sister named Maria. And did you know that his father had a lot of science. And when he was only five, his father gave him a compass. Compass. Only five years old. But his father gave him a compass. And did you know that when he was 12 years old, he moved to Italy with his with her I mean with his family, so they could find better work because to get a better salary. So let me let me tell you more. Everyone some people said that he can't speak until he's four and he can't read until he's nine. But did you know that? His parents thought that he won't be smart enough, but he's brilliant! Can you believe that? He's so, so, so clever. Can you believe that? So his education, let me tell you. In Switzerland is where he studied. And um, and did you know that? When he was 21 years old, oops, I forgot the old one, silly me. But that's okay, Leo, we can fix it. He graduated from school. And did you know that? When he became an adult, people said he was unorganized because he failed a test to to college. You know, he failed a test in college. Cool. He got an F. He failed. And let me tell you, a pattern is right making the right. He is. He helped the government make the right. Like people sell, people invented on their own. Like when when you copy your friend's homework with that. Right? So let me tell you more. Here, this is the office where he worked when he was young. And let me tell you, he also created an atomic bomb. That bomb is so huge, he invented it, but he is not part of the war at all. So, he, he invented that bomb. People need him to invent that bomb. We call it the atomic bomb. Mm, that's very scary, right? And let me tell you, so there are some people who were killed by other people, and now one, and now a lot of people died. Almost a thousand or million people died. And and Albert Einstein doesn't want to be killed either, so he moved to the United States. And and for and for and one hundred for four hundred. You know, he was this guy, this, this found that he was a citizen from the United States now. And let me tell you more about him. Now you got it, everyone. He made an atomic bomb. Oh, I'm very scared of that because that atomic bomb could kill millions of people. And in German, we, we use them because people think, the soldiers think that they're not cool as us, they're not strong as, as we do like that. Cool, eh? Very cool. So let me tell you more about them, okay? So when he went to the United States, he was a citizen now because the president, Obama, at the time now, made him a citizen. To, he told everyone that he had to escape Germany from, from dying. And let me tell you more. He died, he died in 1955. Do you know why? But his body, body was buried, but his brain was preserved. People have been studying him, and now they found out that he has a different brain from other people. Like, like Einstein's brain is, is much cleverer. It works much more daily and much more, much more better than us. Scientists have found out the reason why. Because Einstein's brain is different. It 
looks differently from us. Like when you like spaghetti, mm, spaghetti, the other one doesn't like spaghetti like that. Is that the same? No, right? It's normal, not not different at all. It's just it's just the talent and the brain works like that. And there's no brain. How can we survive? We'll just die, right? And now you got Albert Einstein has a lot of, lot of stories to tell, and he was one of the greatest, brilliant scientists in the world. He was also famous because he he had he had a brilliant brain, and no one could beat him at all. So that's the end of our lesson today. So I hope you have a good night's sleep because it's now 10 o'clock and I'm very sleepy. So bye guys.